I've had haircuts and beard trims and face masks and my nose hair plucked, my ear wax waxed in 35 countries, over 100 cities. This will be the third time I've had it done in the USA in the past eight years. After this, I'm going to Colombia, and I thought it would be fun to compare and contrast. I am a minimalist, and that extends to my time as well. I like as few time commitments as possible. I don't like planning my day around a barber. In Colombia, or basically any Latin American country, I just go there and I get a haircut, and I love that. Whenever it works in my schedule, I go there. I typically never wait, and that's that. Now, I had to make a appointment here. That's how it's done here, and I did that. I booked an appointment last night. The guy messaged me this morning and said, hey, there's some work going on. He can't do uh, it until 12. So I, so I was like, all right, well, I'll do 12. I wish I knew that before because I was supposed to visit my uh, nephews at 9.30, but I rearranged my day for you. But all right, so that's another reason why I don't like doing that. And then there was another little mix-up where he's, I booked it in Redwood City, but now he's like, oh no, that one's out for the whole day. I'm actually in San Mateo, which is, I don't know, 30 minutes away, which is another downside of living in the USA, in a lot of the USA cities. You have to drive everywhere. I always come back to this place and I'm like, why, I got nothing done these past two weeks. Why is that? Well, because everything you had to do, you had to drive 15 minutes to an hour, find parking both ways. That's why you didn't do anything. Most of your day is in a car. Here. Who the hell knows how that works? Well, f <laughs> now you know what I'm talking about, about f parking. This is a nightmare. I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna go right, I guess. Everyone goes right. Should I go left? Behind this car? Oh, behind this car. I think this is parking. I can't be too sure, but I think. Welcome to beautiful California, baby. There it is. I'm not going to comment on the how, how good the haircut was because that's subjective, but we started at 1.30. We ended up and it's now 2.15, 45 minutes. The final price was 70 bucks with that $10 tip. If you're a barber, I have a blog on my website and it is written from the perspective of somebody who's had haircuts in dozens and dozens and dozens of barber shops. And it's just my perspective on how you can give a perfect uh, barber Bar beard haircut trim. Today is April 6th. It's been about five weeks since I got my haircut in the USA. Behind me is London City Barbershop, my favorite barber in the city. I've been coming here for years. I really like them. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get a haircut, I'm gonna get a beard trim, and how do the two haircuts compare? California to Colombia. Hola. What I haven't seen yet, I'm seeing right now for the first time. Ah, <laughs> oh my <laughs> okay. I'm like a famous person. Model. Hey, I'm not going to be the judge, though. You be the judge. Based on cost, based on time it took, based on ambiance of the location, how was it? I tried to pick two barbershops in California and Colombia that were similar, and I think I did a good job of that. Although this one you can see is more spacious. The last one, the barber was late, 
and when I finished, the next guy was just ready to jump on the chair and get going. You let me know in the comments, who won? California or Colombia? Colombia! <laughs> One more thing, if you don't mind, you already know what I'm gonna ask, right? The value to me is a lot more than the cost to you, if you enjoyed this video. If I was Mr. Beast, I wouldn't be asking. The nine millionth like is no different than the eight million nine hundred nine nine thousand nine hundred nine ninth like. But for me, it matters as a small channel. I thank you so much. Hello? Ah. Oh, friendly guys here. Let me talk to this guy. Demolo. Te gusto? No. Me Esta. Ah. <laughs>